The Hovich is magic, he wears a magic hat. He went off to Heraveen and then we brought him back. Then he went to Hamburg but he didn't fancy that. Oh, Zohovich is magic, he wears a magic hat. Hello everybody, welcome back to the NK Maribor save Celtic double header today and it's going to be interesting. Let me just move the mic actually so it's in front of me and you can hear me better hopefully. Hello, hello out there in Radio Land. Celtic double header, not much has happened. We beat Olympi Olympia Ljubljana 5-1. Uh, we smashed them. They went 1-0 up after two minutes, then we equalised it with Trukowski getting a goal from left back. They got a man sent off, we scored the resulting penalty. Hernandez then got a double after 54 minutes. Kavcic got a another and Kipre got a goal as well. We have had the transfer January win the transfer January window. The January transfer window is what I was trying to say. Some players have come, some players have gone. As usual we'll start with the outs. So Marty McFly. He went to Newcastle. Ten million. They paid his fee. I don't know actually how he's gonna fit in there. Have they played him? One game, one goal. Brilliant. They're going to love him. They're going to love him up in Newcastle. It was interesting that people like Madrid and Man City, Man United, all the big clubs, didn't think he was worth £10 million, And then Newcastle came in on deadline day and picked him from us, which was very annoying. Rolando Ahrens has gone. He wasn't signing a new contract and it was expiring in the summer. So we got what we could, which was 975 k and other than that, just some more loans have gone out, really. Nothing much else to discuss. On the ins, we bought in Valadivia. A new left winger, basically, to replace Rolando Ahrens. And he's much better than Rolando Ahrens. He's good. Um, 8 million might be a bit pricey again. But I really like his stats. He hasn't played any games for us, obviously, because we haven't had any competitive games. But very good. And something else that excites me is free kick taking 16. So we might actually have a free kick taker in the squad. Other players in. we got Francesco Giraldez, 650k. Now, really good stats. I mean, he looks like a dickhead. Don't get me wrong, he looks like a dickhead. But really good stats. Excited to see him in the midfield. 27 Portuguese bargain for 650k. If it doesn't work out, we'll definitely make a profit on him. And then finally, for a million, we bought in Luis Serena. Now, this is the sort of Marty McFly replacement, if you will. Young, great potential, only cost us a million. Chances are we're going to move him on. And taking the advice of someone in the chat... I've put in an optional contract extension, so if he tries to bloody fuck us over and move at the end of his contract, I can just extend it by three years. Now, eat that, stupid fucking agent. That's what I'm going to try and do to all the really good youngsters we've got, is put that optional contract extension on. And I can't remember who suggested it in the comments, but thank you very much, because I think it's going to come in useful. Uh, the only other transfer news to tell you about is we have someone lined up coming in in the summer, which is... Oh, two people, actually. We have Martin Rita, Rita coming in. Uh, again, good-looking youngster. He's got decent potential. My scouts were raving about him and said we should get him. So he's coming in on a free transfer in the summer. And how Zhao Carvalho, I think is how you pronounce that. I think that's Zhao. Zhao Carvalho, he's also joining in the summer. So another centre midfielder. We're going to have loads of centre midfielders. Probably look for a formation change where we can play four in mid four in centre midfield. That's never going to happen. But yeah, good stats. Happy with that. Free transfer. So should be decent. He's had an alright season for the Benfica B team. Never really impressed wherever he's been. But again, on a free, we'll be able to make profit on him if we sell him. Or when we sell him, because I never seem to keep players for very long. After the Ljubljana game and over the transfer window period, we had a tour of Portugal. And we played two teams that were smaller reputation and two teams that were similar reputation. We smashed them all. Even the 1-0 win, we absolutely annihilated them. We just couldn't put the ball in. And it's really nice to see our fans travelled with us. 13 people came to the first game. 350 people then came for the second game. Luckily, they saw the 7-0. Then we had 12 people coming for that game, um, and then 208 came for that 7 as well. So I'm not too sure why they decided to come for what games, but thanks away fans. Cheers for travelling. And yeah, if you heard the Zahovic song in the intro, they've come up with a little song for Zahovic. Went to Hamburg and didn't fancy that. Lyrical genius. One more rambling to be had. Bojan Ban has bought the club off Drago. 
yeah, he came in and basically said, yeah, I'm going to keep you on. You're doing wonderfully well. We're not going to change the budget or anything. All we're going to do is wipe the slate clean of previous results and we're going to judge you from now on. Which in a way was quite good because it means it doesn't include the rubbish results I had, the, the two losses in the league. In another way, it's quite bad because... I hadn't lost in 127 games. We'll deal with that at the time. I'm not going to get fired. I mean, it's brilliant. I'm doing really well. My hopes for the Slovenia job are... There's so many national jobs going, not the Slovenian one. If we can... The best way to find him is always just to click on Lara and click on Slovenia. It's still Primoz Gila in there, and he's holding on to his job. They have some tough fixtures coming up. Spain, Iceland, Israel, and Norway are in their group. I think they're going to struggle, and I think he's going to get sacked. If not, I'll go to the under-19s or the under-21s, and I'll try and figure out a way of adapting that into the story, but running it as a separate series so that it doesn't interfere with this one, and you can only watch watch ones, whichever sort of series you want to. If you want to watch both, watch both. If you want to just watch the Maribor save, you can just watch the Maribor save. Anyway, that really is me rambling, so we'll see you at the game day for the first leg away to Celtic. Catch you guys in a bit. Okay, so here we are on the game day. Delac is in goal, Ahmad, Kalic, Kavicic and Trakovsky are the back four, Takak sits in front of them, Kipane and Perez are the midfield two, Moussa on the right, Valdejova gets his debut on the left and Zahovic leads the line with the fans chanting his very odd chant that they've come up with. Celtic line up in a 4-2-3-1, Ward in goal, Lustig, Bell, Holding and Holzer are the back four, Andy King and Jay McGinn, that's rhyming, in the middle, Schobersberger, why did I go? That was a weird accent I put on. Schoesberger, Guajre, Jack Grealish, their star man, and Stepinski leads the line. I am confident. I think we should beat Celtic quite easily. I know we're away, but I'm, I feel like we should beat them quite easily, just to repeat myself. How ridiculous. On to the opposite instructions. He's going to probably say kick some people. Yeah, he is. Um, we're, already, we're kicking Jack Grealish, so we will close him down as well. Now, is Jack Grealish right or left-footed? Um Okay, he's right footed, yeah, so we want to show him onto his weak we want to show him onto his left foot all the time and try and get him to put crosses in rather than cut inside. On to the team talk. The least I expect tonight is to achieve a result which gives us a chance in the second leg, that's what I want. And there is a lot more to come from all of you. Some people are lacking a bit of match fitness where they didn't get too many games. Bradley Dack is injured. He's come down with flu, bless him. And that's about it. Nothing else really to do. Crack on to the game. Kick-off beer. And straight away, Stepinski fouls our centre-back, which is disgraceful behaviour. But Trukowski, back to Kavcic. Trukowski to Perez. Perez to Valdiva up the line. Good ball through to Zahovic. Zahovic crosses it in. Moose it's at the back post. He's hit the bar. But it's a cracking start from Maribor. And it's come back to a maid who's fouled by John McGinn. Go on, ref. Red card. Send him off. Dangerous two-footed lunge. Boo. Just a warning. Just a talking to. Valdiva with his free kick taking 16. It's terrible. I was big in his free kick taking abilities up, wasn't I, at the beginning of the game? Oh well. Okay, so not too much has happened. We're 15 minutes in, or just gone past the 15 minute mark, and it's Andy King on the ball, and that's a terrible pass to absolutely nobody. Kavchik picks it up all the way back to Delac as we build up from the back again. Long ball forward, he shouldn't be doing that. It should be short, short passes, but here comes Celtic. Stavinsky. Back to McGinn, out to Grealish. Show him onto his left foot. He's put a crap ball in, so that's fine. So Hobich is beaten in the air by Rob Holding. King picks it up in the middle of the park to McGinn. Get in his face. Come on. Put him under pressure. Holzer. He's left Jack Grealish. In a bit of space. Sapinski's in. Good block on the shot. And Perez calmly and with great composure gives it back to Delac. And Zahovic has given that away. Stepinski leads the line for Celtic, bringing it forward. He's dancing round one. Dance round two. Into the box. Guerrero's there. And he slips it past Delac. And we're 1-0 down. And that is a funky, funky haircut. So Stepinski beat round a, what was a tenth of a backwards tackle from one player, knocks it off to Guerrero, which wrong foots Delac, and he just sticks it underneath Delac's body, gutting. Valdieva hits a free kick into the wall. The rebound, Kipre picks it up. Back to Chagovsky. Chagovsky, you move slowly forward with it, and that was that was it. That free kick was the highlight. Um, unbelievable. Perez, what can he do? He finds Kipre to Zahovic. Valdiva, give it back to Zahovic. He does, he's in. Oh, Zahovic's in magic. He wears a magic hat. We signed him from Herovine, then they brought him back. That's not the words. I've already forgotten the words, and I bloody came up with it about 10 minutes ago. Lovely ball for Zahovic. He is magic. Good finish on his left foot. Keeper's got no chance. It's a crucial away goal as well. And back in with a bang. Valdiva, ball in. 
to Cax is beaten in the air, but Valdiva picks it up again to Perez. Perez shoots from distance and it's just over the bar. So Stepinski wins the flick on, McGinn picks it up. Good tackle from Chagrovsky, but shows Berger's there into Guaro and he shoots over on his left foot. And maybe this isn't going to be as easy as I thought it would. I honestly thought this would be a bit of a walk in the park playing Celtic. But they're putting up more of a fight. Um, I'm going to say we are doing well. The guys seem to enjoy that. Into the second half we go. Valdiva on the left to Dragovsky. Back to Kavcic. Just keeping the ball well. Karic. And I'm, I'm commentating this highlight. Nothing's going to come from it, is it? Move set on the right. What can he do? He's tackled by Holzer. Stavinsky's beaten in the air by Kavcic. But Grealish brings it forward. Back to Stavinsky. Into Guara. Guara. Maybe something is going to happen from this starting highlight. And Delac makes a good save. We are scouting goalkeepers. We are scouting plenty of goalkeepers at the moment. Oh, they've flicked a cheeky one to the edge of the area and keep play just hoofs it. Up the other end, Perez with the corner. Muset picks up the rebound. Out to Takax. Takax, what can he do? It's, know, it's found Zahovic. Keep play, shot, blocked. Um, yeah. I'm not too sure what happened, but we've kept the ball with Zahovic. And Takax has it in the middle of the park to keep play. They're pe pressuring us quite well here. So I'm wondering if we can move the ball a little bit quicker. If we up the tempo and go to mixed passing, if they're deciding they're going to press us all around, move it quickly, mix up the passing, hopefully it'll get them out of position. But again, Delac was coming off his line to try and claim that, and he was getting nowhere near it. But he makes a good save from good arrows long shot. I might have to scout Scotland and see what happens. See if my scouts can pick up any of these Celtic players. Lustig. Tackle well with Perez. There's a counter-attack on if we can work it. Valdiviva brings it forward. He hasn't really got anyone in the box with him yet. He holds it up and he's tackled well by Holzer. About an hour into the game and yeah, key play's not really getting into it. We are missing Bradley Dak. We'll give Tom Davies a run. Tom Davies can come on who loves playing as a centre midfielder on attack which is really good. Um, we're going to give it a little bit longer and then I might bring on Duncan Watmore for Mooset on the right wing. But generally, we're playing alright. I mean, Celtic have been quite good actually oh come and get the ball de lac i mean he's made a great save but come and catch it loads of time to read that catch i mean we've 61 percent possession we've had in this game that is unfathomable there's a big word for you the carriage just clears lovely stuff two shots out of six on target that's really poor muset gets down the line looks for perez but he's beaten in the air but zahovic picks it up back to muset he's gone for a cheeky shot on goal and ward tips it over Free uh, corner, Trogovsky to swing it in, looking for Carrick to the barracks. Perez is there, it's an easy catch for Ward. Um, and, oh no, oh no, oh my god, oh my word. I realised that commentary was utter shit. Mousset is going to come off and be replaced by Duncan Watmore. A bit more energy and directness in, in Watmore's approach. Those changes haven't really worked. We'll go back to shorter passing. We won't exploit the middle as much. Stop them playing it out from the back. We'll only close them down a bit. Go to a normal tempo. We'll go balanced. Up it to attacking if we wanted, or equally we could go down to control as Trzgowski has given away. Frick, he's a player now that's teetering on the edge of being dropped from the first team. We just don't really have a, a ready-made replacement for him. Fournier hasn't really progressed as I'd like the youngster, the young left back. But Watmore's tackled by Schmiedenbach to Destro, but a maid's picked up his poor pass and. Can we now build from the back? There should be options here. Dragovsky into Valdivia. Valdivia to Perez. Perez up to Zahovic, our goal scorer. He runs at the back line. Tom Davies, the sub. Oh, and Ward taps it wide. And I realise that I'm saying some odd words like tups instead of taps. Davies of the ball in. I don't, I don't, why Watmore is attacking the ball there, I have no idea. He is literally a midget. We've still managed to pick the ball up. Valdivia brings it inside. And he hasn't had a great game, to be honest. Valdivia. I'm sure his rating is doing okay. But he hasn't had a brilliant game. He doesn't know the tactic. His tactic familiarity is quite low. Um, so we'll have to give him some game time in the league to get used to the tactic. We'll bring on Giraldes for Valdiviva. But we'll swap those two over. Because Watmore prefers to be an inside forward on the right. On the left, sorry. To cut inside on his right foot. So it's another debut. Debut for F. Giraldes. Davies hits it and it's off the wall. So we've got a corner with five minutes to go. It'll be a very good time to score. Giraldes with the corner. Swings it in. Easy catch for Ward. Celtic then have thrown it in but given it away straight to Davies. He was tackled by McGinn to Stabinski. Out to Guerrero. McGinn to Destro. Bitten. Guerrero, good save from Delac. And Trogovsky gets the tackle in and it's gone for a corner. And equally, this would be a good time for Celtic to score for them. Guerrero ball in. What more? Volleys it clear. And Lucy, that's a wonderful pass. And that's what a save. That, that was mental, that highlight. It didn't even give, really give me a chance to commentate it. 
as a maid has made a terrible tackle and it's given Celtic another opportunity. Ball in, Lustig McGinn. They've got a goal. They're going to go into the second leg with a 2-1 win. Damn it. Giving away stupid fouls. Guerrero dinks it in. Lustig with a free header and it's fallen to McGinn who volleys it in past the lack. Damn it. If we're going to rescue something, it has to be now. Zahovic. Ball back to Perez. Perez to Dragovsky. Dragovsky shoots and he's gone in. He's flown it into the far post. What a goal from Dragovsky. Just as I said, he was teetering on the edge of being in the starting eleven. Zahovic with the ball out to Perez. Perez finds Dragovsky on the left. One touch on his right. Bosch from the edge of the area. Dejan Trojovsky has got us our second away goal. Unbelievable finish. That will be that. It is 2-2. Trogovsky rescues us late on. Oh. Oh. You've done well proving the result. We'll have them. We'll have them in the next game. Six days time, I think it is. We'll have them. So I'll do all of this. I'll do the press conference. We'll see you for the second leg. Catch you guys in a bit. Okay, here we are, the second leg. We're lining up exactly the same. The only difference is Duncan Watmore's coming in to start on the left ahead of Valdiva, who goes to the bench. And Bradley Dack comes back in onto the bench. So our formation is the same, and we line up Delac, Maid, Karic, Kavcic, Trigovsky, Takax, Kip, 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 Takax, Kipre, Perez, Muset, Watmore, and Zahovic. They line up exactly the same. Nothing's changed at all. And as we kick off, can Zahovic show that he is magic once again. I mean, we're relying on him for a lot of goals, especially when we play one up front. Kavjic hits a free kick, Ward makes the save, and one shot, one on target. I'm confident at home, I'm confident. Again, nothing much is happening, but Perez has picked out Muset. Muset shoots and it's in, off the post. What a finish from Lice Muset, his 17th goal of the season. That was superb. So Perez takes a quick free kick, dinks it over, sees Muset in space. And he just absolutely rifles it in at the near post. And keeper gets a hand to it, Ward, but he ain't stopping that. And that is a lovely finish. And it puts us 3-2 up on aggregate with our two away goals as well. Kavcic with a free kick. It's another one. Ward makes the save again. And I told you I was confident at home. 55% possession, four shots, four on target from us. They've had one and it's been on target, but we obviously didn't see the highlight. As Kavcic intercepts well to Tchaikovsky, to Kax, to Perez. Back to Kavcic, Tchaikovsky. Back to Takax, up to Kipre. Kipre to Zahovic. Zahovic, ball through, Muset. It's bouncing around. Oh, no one could get a proper shot off to Watmore, to Kax. Back to Kipre, Zahovic. Great ball out to Amaid. Amaid, ball in. Watmore's at the back post and he scores on his return to the starting lineup. And that is his first goal of the season. He hasn't played very much. And it's a good little header from the Ginger Ninja at the back post. Amaid here gets in, dinks it over to the back post. And Watmore's there. Look at him. Jumps high. Looks like he sort of chinned it like that in but we're two nil up wonderful performance so into half time i've told them that i'm very happy with how it's going perez looks happy and um, that's about it so i'll do the classic there's a lot more to come from you guys i've got faith i've got faith i've got faith gotta have faith the faith the faith but yeah kick off the second half to kax kavcic we're going to keep the ball that's what this tactic does it's why i like it Keeps the ball. It creates lots of space for people to run into. Lustig, that is horrendous. Get off my pitch. Well, well, the ref hasn't sent you off, so you can stay on for now. Key play back to Kavcic. To Perez. Good run from Tchaikovsky. He's flicked it on. He's found Watmore, but he couldn't do too much with it. Perez, back to Tchaikovsky. Can he put a cross in? He does. Doesn't find one to Kax, though. And it's a shot from Kipre, and it's blocked for a corner. And we've started the second half as we ended the first. Perez with the ball in. Easy catch for Ward, that one. Schusberger to Guaro. King. I've lost track, by the way, the amount of times I've pronounced that name. Guajaro. Guaro. A made intercepts well. He's gone back to Delac. He should have a little simple ball out, but he's gone long. The reason only he could understand. Schmiedeback to Holding. Long ball forward to Kax wins the header. Back to Schmiedeback. King. Guaro. Stepinski. Good overlapping run from Lustig. Lustig Stepinski, and he's fired it wide. So let me know down below what you think of the transfers. Only a few this January. Um, let me know. Obviously, this is the squad we're going to keep until the end of the season. Where do you think we need to invest? Is it mainly a new goalkeeper as Musa heads clears? Uh, heads clear? Heads just wide. Let me know. I, my main thing will be a goalkeeper, I think. If we can keep hold of our youngsters that we've got coming through that are decent, keep hold of the defenders we've got, maybe looking for a new left back. Um, as I said, Trigovsky is doing all right. Zahovic has a shot which Ward saves. Trigovsky is doing well at left back, but he's getting on a bit and... 
I think there's better out there that we can we can buy. I've just got to get my scouts on it. Key play, shoot straight at Ward, and we are we are bossing this game at the moment. Really, they've only had one shot on target. We've had seven. Holes over the corner. Ball in. Zahovic gets it away at the near post, and Muset picks it up. What can we do? Can we counter? He's gone round one. Muset. Great ball over to Watmore. Oh, Lustig with a very crucial header. Trigovsky. Tackled by Sturdenbach. Out to Schrosenberger. That's two amazing names to have on the right wing at the same time. Muset wins it back. Key plays over. There's an overlap onto Watmore. Watmore gets into the area. He's in the box. Shoots straight up Ward. Put it in the corner. It's simple. Stepinski brings it away. Come on. Keep it tight at the back. Jack Grealish. That's a terrible shot. They've gone to a very narrow formation, so I think what I'm going to do, Zahovic is going to come off for Vladivia, Muset's going to go up front, and we're going to put these two on as wingers on support for now. These guys can drop back to wing back on defend, wing back on defend, and we'll go away from the narrow side. We'll go balanced, but we'll exploit the flanks. That's what we're going to look for. We don't need to look for the overlap anymore. Keep the tempo low. We're 2-0 up, so Andy King to Schleiden back. Lustig, what can he do? He plays it back. King's on it again. Schmein back. Suter, King. Grealish. Takak's trying to put a tackle in, but it's come to Holzer. Ball in. He's got to be offside. Yeah. Matteo Destro, offside. So the goal will not stand because that is the laws of football. Valdivir's just given it away because he's not impressing me that much at the moment. Destro brings it forward. It's a shot that's blocked by Trogovsky. My changes aren't really working at the moment. Grealish with the ball in. Suter, Kavcic flicks it on. Let's just up that to standard. Valdivia with a free kick, in it goes, but Destro will get to the header away, and Grealish brings it forward. Great ball through to Schrosenberger. Schrosenberger shoots, and it's into the side netting. And it looks like it's going to be a comfortable win, as we're into the last minute of injury time. Trigoski with a throw, there we go, a comfortable 2-0 win. Andre Mariner blows his whistle, a comfortable 2-0 win at home. And that puts us through to the next round of the Europa League, which is very exciting, isn't it? European adventure continues. Okay, so here we are at the draw, and teams that got through, well, Rangers or Inter haven't actually played their game yet, which is interesting. Tottenham got through, Stoke got through, Sporting, Sevilla, Leipzig, Zagreb, Milan, Marseille. Most of the teams you'd expect. I would take Rapid Vienna, I think, is the main team I want. Maybe Sport at Spartak Moscow. Rangers as well, but I doubt they'll be it. POK is another one I'll take. So Spartak Moscow, yes please, we didn't get them. Oh, we're at home to Tottenham. What did I say? I bet you we get Tottenham. This game fucking hates me. It really hates me because Tottenham are amazing. They've won the Champions League for God's sake. Oh, key player, Toby Alderweireld, yep, very, very good. Harry Kane still there, very, very good. Yeah, it's going to be tough. It's going to be very, very tough. They're only sixth in the league, so they're having a great season, but... I suppose you've got to beat the best, haven't you? Got to beat the best to win it. We play Tottenham then. When is that? Because that's when we'll be back. Oh, in two games' time. So I'll play them offline and then it'll be a Tottenham double header. And I'll see you guys then. And there's not really much else to say. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed it, leave a like. Let me know what you think down below about the transfers. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think is going to happen against Tottenham. And I'll chat to you guys very, very soon. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Cheers.